Good day everyone. We will be having chemistry class now on the topic periodic table. As we all know, a periodic table is a table of elements. Now let's look at the introduction. Looking at this picture, this is a Russian scientist called Dmitry Mendeleev. He arranged and classified elements in an orderly manner so that elements having similar properties are grouped together. And this led to the first periodic table ever in sciences. He also arranged the elements according to their atomic masses so that the elements with similar properties fell in the same column. And this was a brilliant idea since he left space for undiscovered elements. That's why this day we have a newly discovered element fit into the periodic table. Now, what is the periodic table? The periodic table is an arrangement of elements according to the increase in relative atomic numbers. And it, have, it has different um, rows and columns. Now, the groups or the families. The elements on the periodic table are classified into columns, of which are called the groups or family. Now we have eight main groups on the periodic table, which includes group 1, group 2, down to group 8 or group O. And we can equally represent them as group I, which is group 1, group II, which is group 2, group III, which is group 3, and so on until group VIII, which is group 8 or group O. Now you can see the shaded column. This is a group. This is group 1. This is group 2, group 3, up to group O. Now I'm going to the next term, which is the period. Elements in the same row on the periodic table forms a period. Now if you look at this, a row on the periodic table, which is called a period. The properties change, change progressively across the periodic table. Now we have seven different periods on the periodic table. Now this is a summary of it. Groups are vertical columns of elements, while uh, periods are horizontal rows of elements. Now, groups have the same number of valence electrons. For instance, group 1 has one valence electron, and group 7 also has the same number of valence electrons. Valence electron means the outermost shell. Now, for period, all the elements in each period have the same number of electrons in the shell. Now, the major categories on categories on the periodic table. This the periodic table will have the first part. These two broad groups are called metals. You, see, you can see the first color and the second color. So they are all called metals. Then everything below here, which is the orange color, is the transition metal. Then these here, the blue color here, represents the region for the non-metals. All the elements found here, found here are called non-metals. While these are the metals, that they have the properties of metals and non-metals. Then the one beneath here are called the lanthanides, and lastly the actinides. So these are the major categories we have on the periodic table. Then the last column here, which is the group 8, are called inert gases, or the, it's called the noble gases, and in some cases we call them the rare gases. Now, these are the names of each group. We have the alkali metal, which are the group 1 elements. Any element found on group 1 is called the alkali metal. Secondly, we have the alkaline Earth metals, which are the members of the group 2. Members of the group 2 are called the alkaline earth metals. Then we we'll have the halogens, which are the group um, 6. But before that, we we'll have this the boron family, which are the group 3 elements, the carbon family, which are the group 4 elements. The nitrogen family, which has group 5 elements. The oxygen family, 
which are the group 6 and are called halogens. Then we have the group 7 elements, which are the halogens. Then lastly we have the group 8 elements, which are the noble gases. They are still called the inert gases or the rare gases. So these are the names on the periodic table. Now there is a full view of the periodic table. You can see all the elements, group 1, group 2, these are group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, and lastly group 8 or group 4. Now this is the periodic law or the modern periodic law. It's a revision of the Mendeleev Mayer's group grouping which states that the properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers, not the atomic weights. Now this is a takeaway. You should find a piece of paper and try this question out. Number one, what is the periodic table? Number two, state the modern periodic law. Number three, how many groups and periods do you have on the periodic table? Number four, mention the major categories of elements on the periodic table. Thanks for listening.